Hello YouTube, this is NJ for Wider 5 and uh, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you guys will probably see this circuit popping up over there. Uh, a while back ago, I had uh, I had mentioned to a few people online that, uh, you know, a long time ago I came up with a capacitor circuit that was pretty simple. It was just common sense. I mean, I probably didn't come up with it, but, you know, I thought it up in my head and it seemed to work and what it did is it it uh when you put a capacitor on there it timed the circuit of the relay to where you could use it for like a microwave trans transformer um, you could use it for something like a microwave transformer tab welder well before i came up with that original circuit i would actually came up with a three pin uh, circuit that came from a little tiny push switch and uh, those little push switches the type that you know it had a single button and it came out like this and it had a bunch of little pins on the bottom well what I noticed was that with the little pins there was a normally open normally closed and a common it might have only had three and uh, so I, was in, I got the thinking that if you can, if you put the capacitor on there a certain way, you could use the 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 little tiny button to control the speed of uh, your relay. So I went ahead and I threw together. Uh, I'll probably throw a picture up real quick. It's kind of a crappy looking contraption because I made this whenever I barely started any kind of. DIYing whatsoever so I wasn't really too good at most of the stuff I did back then but I sure gave it all I could I just wanted to give this to you guys. This should be a quick video, probably one of my quickest. And the only reason why is because it's a simple circuit that anybody can do. Uh, the only reason why I'm showing you guys this is because I've noticed that a lot of people, uh, they'll decide to build their micro transformer and they'd rather go with a pedal switch. And what a lot of people don't realize is those pedal switches are actually three pin, normally closed, normally open and common. like uh, this one this one is I don't know what brand this is this actually came with my Malatrix welder TFS-01 as you'll see it says white is common red is normally open and it says black is normally closed and then here's a Tempco one these are the ones I like to use with my welder CN001, 10 amp, 250, and as you can see, normally open, normally close, and a common. And in case the other one was blurry, then focus. TFS01, common, normally open, normally closed. And the circuit works like this the common will be connected to the positive of your um, capacitor, whatever you decide to use. The normally close of it will be connected to the positive of the power that you decide to use, 12 volt, 9 volt. Uh, the normally closed or the normally open will be connected directly to the relay on the positive side. And then um, the negative will go all the way across to the capacitor and then down to the relay. What happens is you have it positively charged at the common and it's hitting the normally closed so you've got positive going to it. So this cap is charged right now as you got power going to it. So it's ready for, you know, to release its power. So when you push the button and it goes to normally closed, It'll take the positive of the capacitor and run it straight through the normally open 
straight to the capa straight to the relay and whatever whatever charge you have in this capacitor will come out of the relay and a lot of people use 1000 uf to 47 uf for the timing 1000 is usually too long of a timing and 47 uf is usually too short uh, a lot of people what they'll do is they'll use a pin like this and that way you can you know take your take it out and put it in you know quickly so that you know you can put the capacitor in for whatever timing that you got depending on how thick the nickel strip is um this is probably going to be the most simplest circuit you're going to find on the internet um i just wanted to share it with you guys uh, i like to give tips about microwave oven transformers uh, i wanted to do a video not too long ago to show you guys that Everything you need is actually in the microwave transformer to create a battery tab holder. These two relays came from a microwave transformer. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the relay in the door, a lot of times, should be strong enough to control a microwave oven, microwave oven battery tab holder. Because if you look, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to focus it on camera. Hopefully you guys can see that. It says 20 amps, 120 volts AC, 16 amps, 250 volts AC, or 16 amps, 30 volts DC. So with that being said, these things should be able to handle, for instance, 125 times 20, it'd be 2,500 watts. And I've never really gone over 16 to 1700 watts whenever I tab load. This little design that I got right here is just something I'm going to leave you guys with. This little design I got right here is just something I'm going to leave you guys with. Uh, this one is just going to, I just went ahead and I put everything on here. Um, except for this relay. And what, how this works is I'm going to go ahead and put a switch. I'm going to go ahead and tack the switch like this in line somewhere right about here. And whenever I do that, what it's going to do is I can either use this relay for a microwave transformer uh, to cut the power for the AC. Or I can put the switch on and run, and run uh, uh, voltage from it and use the pin out. So because it has the two pins on top, I can just connect my microwave oven transformer AC to it and it'll cut the power or I can run it through the pin right here with this power on and get 12 volts out right here and it'll be time circuit. So this circuitry right here could be used for either or. So if you guys have any questions, Please leave them in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will check you guys out in my next video.